Greetings everyone and welcome to today's video of my Flutter Web tutorial series. After having discussed last week why Flutter Web is my preferred choice to create my developer portfolio, today we will be looking at how to properly set up your Flutter Web project together with GitHub Pages. This video will be divided in three parts. First, we will create a Flutter project in Android Studio with enabled web support. Second, we will set up our local Git environment to then follow up with the deployment of our Flutter website on GitHub pages. If anything is unclear, please feel free to post your question in the comments down below and I will be glad to help you out. Also, I've put some reference links into the description box that helped me a lot and also served as a foundation to the steps in this video. So, let's begin with creating a new Flutter project in Android Studio, which you could also do via a command prompt, but I prefer to do it this way. It works either way. Give the project whatever name you like, the path of your Flutter SDK and the path where you want to store it, and just click through the remaining points to create your project. So now your project is set up as a normal Flutter project and by going to terminal, writing flutter create dot, we enable web support. As you can see, the web folder pops up and here we've got our web files. Please be aware that these are not the files we will be using to deploy our website. To get the files we want, type flutter build web in the terminal and once that is done, we have all necessary files in the build folder ready for deployment. And these are the files we want to include in our GitHub repository to be used by GitHub pages. The next step is to prepare said GitHub repository. For that, go to your GitHub account and create a new repository. Give it whatever name you like, set it to either public or private and you can also add a readme gitignore license, which I don't want to focus on for this tutorial, so I'll just leave it out for now. Once our repository is created, we now want to link our online GitHub repository with our local project folder. For this, there are many ways to do it depending on how you are used to operate with Git. I like to use git bash, you can obviously achieve the same goal with any other tool as well. What you generally want to do is to initialize a local git repository in your build web folder, add and commit all your files in there and push them to your repository on github. For git bash, I simply follow the instructions given in our github repository. I type in git init to initialize a repository. Then with git add star, I add all the files to my next commit, which I then execute with git commit and with dash m I can add any message I want. Let's call it first commit and then we hit enter. With git branch dash capital M main, we can rename our master branch to be the main branch, which I think is optional. I've just done it to be consistent with my other repositories. But as a next important step, we are connecting our local repository with our previously created GitHub repository by typing in remote at origin and then the link of our GitHub repository. Now as they are connected, we can simply push everything and now we have our Git environment properly set up. So now every time we build our website with Flutter Build Web, we can simply push our newly created web files and have them displayed on our GitHub Pages website. Now, as a last step, we want to enable GitHub Pages for our repository by going to Settings, Pages and here select our main branch. Once we hit Save, it will take a bit until everything is published and with this URL here, we can now see our website. But apparently there still seems to be a problem. And I wanted you guys to see this error, so in case you encounter it, you don't have to spend as much time as me for finding a solution. You can see that apparently resources could not be loaded. 
I took the answer for that from Stack Overflow where Abhilash describes the problem to be as that the main.dart.js file cannot be properly located due to a missing reference in the base tag of the index.html. So to solve this problem we simply copy this part of our URL and paste it into the base tag of our index.html. Once we publish that change, after a little while, we should be able to finally see our website. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. I hope these three steps help you to set up your Flutter web project to be deployed on GitHub pages. I think it goes without saying that these three steps are only one of the many ways to actually achieve this. If you've got an alternative or even better way of doing it, please share it with the others and me so we can all profit from your experience. Other than that, I wish you all a nice day and hopefully see you in the next video of my Flutter web tutorial series where we will finally start the development process of my developer portfolio. 